Greetings, friends. Um, so similar to my last video, um, I'm at Epcot, another Disney park, and I thought the weather was just, you know, way too nice to pass it up. So we're here. Look at this beautiful sunset coming in right now. And my ears, eyes. Um, so yeah, we're at Epcot. I'm really craving not a Mickey pretzel. Mickey pretzel is first in my heart, but second in my heart is the Germany pavilion pretzel. It's like as big as my face, somewhere around this size. Um, I'm gonna be needing one of those. And I'm gonna be need, be need? I'm gonna need to ride um, Spaceship Earth because the narrator's voice just soothes me. It soothes my soul. So right now I'm about to go through bag check. Boop. These are just way too fun. They're also very top heavy. So they're gonna be like on my forehead by the end of this video. But here we go, let's go through bag check and I'll see you guys on the other side. Ah uh, yes, the most majestic golf ball that ever lived. It's like, it's in a big changing room and it needs some privacy. Just one very large golf ball. No more, no less. So like, don't get me wrong, I love Disney. I love Disney. But I'm not into like any of the festivals or the arts because it's very expensive, you know? Or they could give me like a ball on a budget Disney festival. Festival of the coupons, perhaps? Festival of the discounts? Okay guys, don't freak out. Don't freak out. You'll never guess who's right here. Oh my God, it's him. I'm gonna get as close as possible without waiting in this ginormous line. Oh my God, there he is. What a good Goofy. What a good classic no frills Goofy. That's what I want. A good no frills character. It's just that I'll never believe that a line like that has a 35 minute standby time. Ah yes, behind the world's largest golf ball is the world's largest spider web. Now I am inside of it, preparing for my death. Just kidding, it's not really a spider web, it's more like a basketball net, I think. They've taken down so much, including my beloved mouse gear and Cool Zone. For those of you that are not familiar with the wonder that is Cool Zone, it was just like a huge room store where you could go in and sample different sodas from around the world and that's how i found my favorite soda in the entire world inca cola it tastes like bubblegum bananas i'm not sure but it's so good um yeah and they tore it down and i don't think i've ever experienced heartbreak like that in my entire life it's just like why does a golf ball look that good look at that glowing glowing so something really cool you're able to go see just for the free up here is like the Pixar shorts. They just have like a short film festival all the time right up there where it says Disney and Pixar. You probably can't see it because I'm really far away and I did not think this through, but it's a really cool thing to see if you get the chance. Um, I don't know how often they change them. I've only seen it one time. So I guess I can't really speak on it, but it is very cool. And now with Disney Plus out, there's actually some of the shorts that I did see are available on Disney Plus, which is neat. So right now it's the Festival of the Arts, I think is the technical name. So there's like a bunch of murals everywhere. For some reason I thought there'd be like, not art on the partitions between construction, but I guess that's a good way to hide construction or just kind of like take your attention away from it. Also, it's kind of massively cold, and I know it's going to be even colder when the sun goes down. So I'm the tourist that brought the sweater tied around my waist because I'm cool like that. Update on these alien ear eye things. They're so heavy that I'm just going to wear them like this now because I'm massively annoyed with them. The outside of the seas with Nemo and friends is exactly what I would want a wall in my house to look like. Very subtle, yet very colorful. I love it so much. And, not to mention, 
some friends. As soon as the sun sets, night mode will be activated. Okay, be honest. Does this look like the top of a pizza hut? Tell me. A workout that no one talks about. The walk from down there, up here, to living with the land. My calves are burning. My hamstrings are tense. It's a very, very hard workout. I've never done this. The zero minute wait is very tempting, but that could also mean that it's broken or not working. It also sounds like a Walmart version of a Discovery Channel show. Look at its little buttons. And also, sign me up for the seasonal cupcake, am I right? And also this red velvet burger, massively appealing. I've never stayed on Disney property, so I've never had like a dining plan, but I have yet to encounter one that doesn't give me war flashbacks about high school cafeterias. Something about like this sliding tray right here is slightly Ikea, slightly high school cafeteria. I don't know. And like the grab and go snacks, once again, could just be a hater. Also sometimes when I'm at Disney, I think about how much I'd pay for like certain decor that they use and this I'd easily pay like probably a hundred dollars just to have this in my room I guess him too he would do the same now that I've said it out loud and like vocalized it I'm realizing how much Ikea's like cafe or restaurant area is just like high school cafeterias alert the presses if you're the kind of person Listen to me carefully. If you're the kind of person that goes into a pastry type of situation and you choose a multi-grain croissant, stay far away from me and never speak to me again. And I mean that. I mean that. What's better than the Disney classic, a fake boat ride? A downside of sitting in the front on this ride is that the speaker's in the middle and I have no idea what anyone's saying. Inside a mini big golf ball. Anytime red and blue are put together, I automatically assume I'm gonna need 3D glasses. So, like, where are my 3D glasses? Angry pineapple. Was definitely not expecting it to be this dark. I mean, like, I, I've seen nighttime before. I've been around during the nighttime. But it's, like, really dark on camera. So the little glimpses of my face that you're getting are just from random um, streetlights that we're passing. We'll figure it out. We'll find something, maybe, like, a light-up case. Who knows? We'll see. Look at all these Mickey pretzels. Wow. One day I'll be hungry enough to get pre-packed goofy cotton candy, cherry berry and blue raspberry, but not today, not that hungry. We're holding out for our Germany pretzel or our Mickey ice cream sandwich. One or both will do. Although, I would enjoy a Rice Krispie treat, but I shan't. I'm going to remain strong and save my appetite for the ones I really care about. Oh friends, I forgot that I said when the sun sets, night mode would be activated. Yeah. I'm passing a light source right now, so it looks like my eyes lit this whole scene up. But they didn't. But look how cool. Did I break them? Oh my god. They're stuck that way. Did anyone else's mom ever say if you got hit in the head while you were making a, sp a certain face, your face would get stuck like that? I think that's what happened to my eyes. For the longest time, before I like came to Disney, people would talk about Spaceship Earth and Mission Space, and I'd be like, okay. I would think they're the same thing, but now I know. They're in fact not the same thing, so this is my formal apology for being so ignorant before. Ah, uh, Old Faithful. 
Big Magic Golf Ball. Update, they're not broken. I think they were just shy. At night, they always make the Big Magic Golf Ball look like a really nice sunset. And I appreciate that, I respect that. Tell me you can't imagine this as one of those like, felt color in black light pictures in the basement of one of your friends. And now for the Peace Day Resistance, my Mickey ice cream sandwich. Look, it's really close to my face. The goods have been retrieved. It comes in this cute little packaging. Cute little packaging with like the cutest Mickey ever. Better look at it. This one's really perfect. Sometimes I get them and they're a little bit messed up, but this one's looking really good. Mm. Well, it's pretty good. <laughs> Let's go! So it's cookies and cream ice cream. In between, in between like the ice cream sandwich outside. I don't know what you really call that. Chocolate cookie? Chocolate cookie, I think. So fun fact, I've never noticed this restaurant a day in my life. It's called the Electric Umbrella, and now we're gonna go inside. I like how every Disney menu is just vague, vague enough. You'll know if you like it, but you don't really know what's going on. But it's like, if you like any of these things, generally, you can come in. I just wanna know what goes into an energy salad, caffeine battery acid tell me it reminds me of like an old roller skating rink or like an old movie theater the neon lights all in all looks pretty standard not super big into cheeseburgers or burgers in general and that seems to be their main attraction definitely looks like a roller skating rink and for that it gets my seal of approval so connected to this figment ride is where all of the Sorry, that was really close to my face and I wasn't even paying attention. Um, this is where all of the Wreck-It Ralph people come out of and they come out of the link, which I think is in the movie. No, yes, no, yes, very natural. Why would you? So now I'm about to go into the Pixar short film festival and by film festival, they mean just a showing of a few shorts, which I'm totally cool with. And then right outside of it, there's this really cool fountain that makes it look like the water's jumping from pad to pad. Another thing I would pay a pretty penny to have in or around my home. Hot take, this is the best Mickey ever in the entire world. This, my friends, is the future of 3D glasses. Some high-tech space goggles. They do what I thought it would do. So pretty cool. POV, you put on my 3D glasses. Everyone say goodnight to the great big magic golf ball in the sky. Good night. Good night. See you again soon. Nothing tires me out quite like Disney. Disney tired is like a different kind of tired, you know? Different kind of sleepiness. Okay, now I'm actually going home. Okay, friends. Ooh, cool. So that's it for today. Uh, I'm gonna figure out a way to make it brighter as I'm walking around at night because if I can't film at night, then like, what's the point? But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me while I was walking around Epcot and doing a bunch of fun stuff and I'll see you soon. Bye.